Hi, so in this case I'm going to show you how we can use the graph prisma, uh, graph pad prism to plot a graph uh, when you have two factors, two different conditions. So different of this one, because uh, th in this case you just have one condition or uh, control or treated, uh, I need uh, this one, the grouped, and you're going to have uh, if they are like uh, by gender or by treatment. So uh, in in here you need to choose uh, the option to enter uh, the values. So here it's gonna be how many values you can have. Um, as we are go we I wanted to show you to how to do the scatter plot. So I needed to have the number here of the each individual. So let's put in th this in a, uh, in a big number, around 15, for example. Depends on how big is your data. So this is going to be how many individuals do you have for each different conditions in separate. Because um, then you're going to, to add each value in these uh, squares here. So let's take a look how it looks like. So in the first one here, uh, I'm going to, to base this um, graph in this spreadsheet, but I have um, treatment, condition, and the data of weight of them, these animals. So in here I can write uh, the treatment should be treatment A or B, and condition, let's put here the condition while type and the next one is um, transgenic okay and then here is going to be the treatment A or treatment B now we needed to copy the data here so when it's while type A uh, before that, uh, it's better to organize the data to make it easier. We just come here, select filter, custom, and then we're going to organize the data by treatment and by condition. Okay. It's easier to copy like this, so I need a wild type A. These are the data. I just copy and paste here. You can paste transpose to make it the side and when is wild type B these ones the same thing in the other one let it be here so in this case is transgenic A we just go here and transgenic A And the same thing for the last one, transgenic B. Okay, so all the data is copy and paste here. Okay, and then I go now for the data one graph. That is this one. And as I wanted this scatter plot, I'm gonna use the individual values. And as I can see, this is the the wild the treatment A, treatment B for transgenic and wild type. Uh, let's use the with a standard error. We can also use the standard deviation, 90%. So we can use this one. Um, and also color the graphic to make it more beautiful to visualize and change these colors to black and that's pretty much this this is how you do the scatter plot when you have two different factors as treatment and condition i hope you understand this one thank you so much for your attention see you next time